Alright, back again Luke here. And today, as you can see in front of you, we have out another one of those arcade PCBs from Ken6275. This one is a Taito Sky Shark. And uh, this one, yeah, it's uh, a bit, you know, dirty and whatnot, dusty. But overall, the condition doesn't look too bad, especially for its age. But anyway, I figured we could take a look at this and see what's going on with it and what we can do to get it up and running again. Uh, no clue as to what's going on with it. Let's see if we can flip it over here. Take a look at the bottom. Uh, kind of a, oh, well, right off the bat you can see there's a few scratch marks there. But nothing too bad. Doesn't look like it's uh, gone through any of the traces over there on the side. And everything else. I mean, there's some little hair molecules here. Follicles, I should say. <laughs> Not molecules. Um, yeah, just various points here where it's a little bit dusty, but it doesn't look too bad. I mean, overall. So, let's, uh, let's flip this guy back over. And let's plug this in and check some of that. the lights off. Okay, well it's coming up to static screen here. Is this is something that some of these Taito boards usually do, but if, yeah, if it were working correctly it would eventually just start up. So I think it's locking up here. Um, let's try it one more time. Let's try and boot it off and then Put it back on again. Oh, now we're just getting some wavy lines. Is it going to do anything different? Nope. It's doing the same thing. Okay. Well, one interesting thing about these uh, Taito boards, especially um, the G, what is it, the GX007 uh, hardware, is that uh, they have a tendency to fail, especially these custom chips here. Um, you'll see like the LO2s, the, um, what is it, the C01. These custom chips here luckily have been reproduced by uh, Caius. And if you don't know Caius, he's over at the Arcade Project forums. Really, really uh, great guy. And he's made a lot of these uh, custom reproductions here. I think I've mentioned it before in the last video or so. But those have the biggest failure rate, uh, biggest uh, tendency to just burn out and cause the board to die. Especially, um, these are some tips that actually he's actually said on his site that the biggest ones here uh, will be this one, uh, like the C01 or the L02s. The difference in boards, there are a couple of different boards that use the same chips but they just have different numbers on them but underneath they are the same. Let me see if I can show you guys here. i find a screwdriver. But as an example, this one is like the main ROM here. If this one doesn't work, you'll get like just static garbage on screen and you won't be able to uh, start the game. This is just a huge, uh, a huge one that has problems. Yeah, this is, uh, usually goes with the GXC number and the GXC number here is something that can be changed, um, like GXC00, GXC01, or 02, depending on the board. And this one is a 01, as you can see here. Even though it says C01, it's still a, a GXC. But luckily, I do have a couple of reproduction um, customs from Caius. And I think we can probably give that a shot here and see what happens. I mean, obviously it could be something else. It could be RAM or whatnot, but uh, even Caius himself had mentioned that if you have a problem with these boards, first thing to do is check this guy. Even though this one it looks like it's a bit of a scrape. doesn't look like it's cracked or anything. And these chips do look like in pretty good condition, so... What we'll do is I'll try and see if I can find that replacement chip. I had it laying around here and we'll just start with that and if that doesn't work we'll go along with these other ones. We may have to desolder these ones. Uh, these can also be uh, the trouble, especially this one here can be uh, responsible for graphics. I think graphic issues. Um, yeah, 
as well as these ones too. Yeah, there's just so many different things. These are, I believe, the graphics ROMs. These are the program or the, yeah, I think the program ROMs. Um, the other ones will help uh, fix the sprites and whatnot. So let's get on that and see what we can do. And I'll be back here in a couple of seconds. Okay, so one thing I should mention here is uh, underneath this chip, I wound up removing the top part. It's just a plastic label here, um, and you can just peel it off using an X-Acto knife. But you'll notice up at the top here, uh, the last one said uh, C-01, but underneath this chip, it'll say, uh, I don't, it's kind of hard to see, maybe I can change it around, but it says GXC-02. Now, it can be a little bit confusing here. Although the chip itself said 01, this actual chip that we need is a 02. So I'll go back and I'll try and see if I can find that custom that I was talking about, the reproduction. But this is something to keep note of, is when you do try to replace some of these, make sure you take a look at uh, underneath the label or check the silk screening. Although this one did say uh, GXC underneath on the silk screening, it didn't say which one it was. So this is the GXC. C02. So I'm going to go back, see if I can find that part, and then we'll come and take a, another look at this. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so as promised here, I came across my reproduction. This is the chip made by Caius, and as you can see at the top here, it says GXC-0X. Uh, the reason why is because using these bank switches on the left here, you can change between uh, the different chips and the 00 to, uh, what is it, 04, or sorry, 01 to 04. Each one is used for a specific game. And as you can see, for this one, we're going to be using the 02. So we've set our banks to off and on and this will be for our GXC02. So the next thing that we'll just have to do is uh, plug this in and check some of that. Oh, one more thing I should note is that uh, these are reproductions that are made by Caius. So you can find Caius's reproductions on eBay. Um, this isn't any sort of paid promotion, but uh, he really does make some great stuff. And he is also over on the Arcade Project forums, and you can find a lot of his uh, work there. But uh, this part itself doesn't come with the top part, it doesn't come with the TMS 32010NL uh, chip. You have to pick this up separately. But it's uh, it's already pre-assembled, ready to go. You just have to pop this on and then you should be ready to go. So let's, let's go ahead and pull this guy up here. Well, that came out super smooth. That's nice. And this one, make sure that you put it in the correct way. There we go. Make sure the pins aren't offset. I have another problem here. Oh, that's a bit of a snug fit there. There we go. Okay, and yeah, let's move this out of the way. The next thing we can do is just plug this guy in here. And da -da -da -da. See what we get. Like I said, I mean, we may have to do more work. We may have to do other things to it. We may have to remove some of these uh, other chips, but this is a good way to kind of test it out, at least from the beginning, at least according to Caius. So let's check it out here. Mm, blank screen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at, oh my gosh, it's got sound too. Right off the bat, look at that, guys. Jeez, something as simple as that. Does it have graphics, though? Does it have the other graphics? Or no? Is it going to lock up? No, it does. It has it. There it is. It's, uh, yeah. Is it going? Yeah, there we go. This thing is working amazingly. It's... Yeah, it's a hundred percent. I mean, it has the sound unless, uh, let's see. Oh, yep, there we go. Oh, this is awesome. Look at that. I mean, first, first try there, and that's all it took. Do the controls work? No, oh, forward, backwards. I mean, this is pretty tricky playing uh, on an angle. Yeah, there's no way this is gonna come out good. I mean, just trying to visualize, especially with one hand here. Let's see. P 
playing this thing on an angle. This is hard. Go, go, go. But I think you guys can get the idea. Um, it is working. Yeah, not uh, not so great on this angle here. Do, can we get two players on this? Maybe. I don't know if two player... Doesn't look like two players uh, starting up there. The music is, I mean, everything is just completely perfect here. Let's see. No two players. Oh, that's still one player. Okay. I don't know if the two player one is working or not. Doesn't seem like it's uh, going right. What the heck? That's oh right yeah no this board oh okay I think this one was made for like the the kind of cocktail maybe it's the dip switch settings or maybe on cocktail or so yeah it's a, that's a little bit trippy kind of like <laughs> switching back and forth but as you can see it is working and that's all it took that was it so we are 100% back up and running thanks to this custom chip here and that is all it's uh. Yeah, it's working wonderfully. So, I hate to say it, but this is a pretty short video. <laughs> We're 100% back in action with this now, just thanks to this reproduction chip here. So, uh, definitely recommend going and checking out uh, Caius, uh, finding him on eBay, or taking a look at uh, some of the stuff that he has over at the Arcade Project forums. If you're having any trouble with uh, special arcade boards that need custom chips, he's the guy to go to. So. But yeah, guys, that is about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Fantastic. Good old Sky Shark. Another one saved from the grave. Just that one chip. <laughs>